And to top it all off, he's holding a plastic sword. <laughs>
the warm one of all the rotten. Why is it still cold in here? Greg? <laughs> Romeo, take me somewhere we can be a Katarina. Come on, come on and sit down. Greg, pick up my sombrero. Greg, move my sword. Greg, pick up your coat. Greg, get us some water. All the useless... <laughs> Why are you hurting him? It was an accident. It was your fault for yelling at him. He's a useless little nitwit, and he did it on purpose. Greg, go grab us some grub. Come sit down, Kate. Do you want to say grace, or should I? What's this? Pizza? Yeah, fresh and... Burnt! Pizza's burnt! Everything's burnt! No, Patrick, there was nothing wrong with that food. It looked delicious. I'm telling you, it's better than we eat nothing than eat that. Don't worry, my sweet. We'll eat tomorrow at Never breakfast. <laughs> well, I've started putting my ingenious plan to action, and I plan to succeed. I'm not going to let Katarina eat anything until she can learn to be grateful for it. Oh no, she didn't get anything to eat today, and she won't get anything to eat tomorrow either. <coughs> not until she's cold. Yeah. I'm not going to let her get any sleep either. Oh no, if she so much as closes her eyes, I will scream at the top of my lung and jump on the bed to keep her awake. This is how you kill a wife with kindness. And this I do, that I may turn her from mean and headstrong. Kind and beautiful. No one knows how to tame a shrew better than me. Bianca loves me the best, you know. She could never love anyone more than she loves good old Liam. I'm not too sure about that, girl. Like I was saying earlier. Oh, just watch. So, what is your favorite subject for? First, tell me what your favorite subject is. My favorite subject is the art of romance. And may you prove to be a master of your art. While you, sweet dear, prove to be the mistress of my heart. <laughs> Women, this is unbelievable. I thought she loved me. Can you believe this, Lichio? No, I can't. But I have something to confess. My name isn't Lichio, and thank God. My name is Harold. <laughs> And I was disguising myself as a music teacher, so I might win Bianca's love. Well, it's too late for both of us now. I think we should swear never to love that Bianca girl again. Look at them, just talking like that. It's disgusting. I promise <laughs> never to love Bianca again. I promise to never love her again either. Not even if she begged me to, which she clearly won't. You can't marry for love. At least I'll marry for money. There's this wealthy chick named Lindsay Evans who's had a crush on me for years. We'll probably wed within about three days. Well, there goes my chance. What did you say, dude? Oh, nothing. You really need to quit that mumbling. <laughs> See you, Leo. <laughs> Bianca, Carol's a sword never to love you again. Good luck, sister. Thanks so much, Teresa. But what about tricking Dad and think and um, Bella and thinking Dad gave me permission to get married? I don't know. Uh, I think I have our answer. Go ahead, you lovers. Hello there. Hello. Do you normally come to this part of town? No, just transfer care. We're all excited. Um. Oh gosh, it's dangerous for anyone from out of the city to come to Padua. <laughs> Don't you know that there's a law that says no one from out of the city can come to Padua, Maryland? That's unconstitutional. I know, <laughs> but I have an idea. Have you ever heard of Vincent Jones? Yes, but I never met him. He's a police officer, right? Right. He's my father, and you look exactly like him. To save your life, you can dress up as him, and no one will ever feel the difference. Mm -hmm. Thank God. I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> or a slice of bread or half a tomato or something. The anger I get, the crazier Patrick becomes. What, did he marry me to famish me? Homeless people who beg for food eat more than I do. I have never had to beg for anything. And I'm so starving and exhausted, I could fall asleep here and now. <laughs>
and he does this under the name of perfect love, saying he does this to me because it's in my best interest. Please, Greg, get me something to eat. I don't care what. Get me anything. Okay, how about some raw liver? Sounds delicious. Let me have it. Ooh, raw liver has too much cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> How about some pig's feet? Oh, I love pig's feet. Just get me something to eat. Ooh, pig's feet has too much fat in it. How about some beef and mustard? Oh, that sounds the best of all. I'm so hungry. Please get me some. Ooh, but the mustard's too spicy. <laughs> Fine, and then just the beef. No, just the mustard or nothing at all. Get me some food, you little pest. <laughs> Katarina, how are you doing, my sweet? Absolutely horrible. Well, look, I prepared some meat for you. It's delicious and mouth-watering succulent. <sighs> Am I even going to say thank you? <laughs> then, Greg, take this food away. Uh, no, leave it here. Even it, the poorest yeah. service is repaid with thanks, and mine will too, before you can eat that meat. Thank you, Patrick. There's my girl. Now, Ida, we're going to your mother's house today. It's your sister's wedding, you know? Nice new clothes for the occasion. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I've hired a tailor especially for you. Taylor? This <laughs> is from the sir. a hat? Smaller than a green bean. It wouldn't even fit a baby. Get rid of this face something bigger. <laughs> We don't need anything bigger. That hat is perfect and it's totally in style and ladies wear hats like those. Then when you're a lady, you can wear one too. And not until then. Like <laughs> that'll ever happen. <laughs> I have an opinion too and the way you're acting forces me to speak my mind. You don't understand. I have to say what I'm thinking. I can't be any other way. You're right, Kate. That hat was ugly. <laughs> Love me or love me not, I liked that hat and I will have it or else I won't have anything. You want to see your dress? Sounds good. Taylor, pick out. What's this? What is this color? And this fabric? It, it looks like it's been cut with a chainsaw. What is this thing? I the dress exactly as you designed. It's in fashion and it has a very nice style. I don't think she's going to get a hat or a dress. This <laughs> isn't what I want at all. Get rid of it. I've never seen a more gorgeous dress. It's perfect and just my size and such a nice color. Patrick, what do you take me for? A gullible sucker. You're right, Kate. That tailor is quite a sucker. I'm not a gullible sucker. She said she thinks that you think she's a gullible sucker. Bing. First you come in here and ruin her dress, and then you come in here and start insulting me? Out! Out, I say! I didn't ruin... I didn't ruin your dress that Greg guy told me how to make. No, I gave you the stuff to make it. But how do you want it to be made? With a thread and needle, obviously. Well, to make a long story short, <laughs> this dress is not for me. Good thing, too. It's for Katarina. <laughs> Greg, go put this dress up in my room for later. In your room, sir? Yes, is there a problem with putting this dress in my room for later? Well, <laughs> men don't wear women's clothes. Come on, dude. Just go tell the tailor that we'll start going pay for the dress. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to go to your mother's house in these old clothes. Our purses may be proud, our garments poor, but it's the mind that makes the body rich. Now let's see, it's about 7 a.m. right now, so we should get there around lunchtime. <laughs> Sorry to correct you, Patrick, but it's nearly 2. We'll be there by dinner time. Kate, it's 7. No matter what I try to do, you still try to argue with me. You know what? Forget it. We're not leaving yet. And when we do, it's going to be whatever time I say it is. Stop it! Stop it! Yeah.